Let's talk about the schools, because uh, there are so many Gulen-inspired schools in the United States now. Uh, would you call uh, Mr. Gulen an educator? I would call him an education uh, advocate in the sense that he uh, motivates people. Uh, he has been motivating everybody, basically, to do something about education. If you are a young person, uh, choose education as your career. If you are a parent, get more involved in your school, in your child's school. If you are a business owner or a professional, help a school. So you, you build schools, but not mosques, this movement. Is that right? Uh, the message, Gulen's message was that education is more important than building places of worship. So building schools is more important than building mosques. You might yeah, say, yes. That's his message. Yes. So if a Turkish national is in the United States and, and involved in starting a school, is it safe to assume that they've been inspired by Gulen? Uh, there's a likelihood, a good likelihood, uh, that they will be inspired by Gulen uh, because of his emphasis on education. And, and does he encourage people in Turkey to go abroad and, and start schools? He does encourage people to go abroad in general. And start schools. Uh, well, education is at the center of this movement. Now, he, here's a fear that people have, that these Gulen schools are an insidious backdoor way to convert people to Islam, that they are secret madrasas. You're smiling. Yeah, that's, uh, that can only come from somebody who doesn't know the, these educational institutions. Is the Islamic religion taught anywhere in any of these schools? No. None of it? None no. of it. What about the teachers? Do they take the kids aside and talk to them about Islam off to the side? No.